So you want to build your own iPod app. Game base here will allow you to change the background image, um, change this little object that's going to move, change this object that's going to move, and it's all using JavaScript HTML5, which you can research anywhere on the web. It's a it's based on PhoneGap, which will make an app. It'll make an iPod, I, iPhone, iPad, Android, Win8 app for you. But the Apple apps need a developer fee of $100. The way I'm going to show you today is using the serve function, which means it'll get it on your iPad today so that you can see what you want to change. You can change this background to anything you want. You can change these images to people you know, whatever. Um, the images, my move one pick and my move two pick, the bullet, oh, let's show you the bullet that fires. If you click that, the little bullet fires, you can tell right here it hits something. Um, the bullet, the background picture, just change those images and your app changes. You want more images here, you want more things that you need to click on. Um, if we auto move, if we fire, you can change everything around and it should only take about 20 minutes to get this thing going. There, hit the object, that could be winning the game. It's up to you. So here are the steps we're going to do today. First of all, we're going to install the PhoneGap developer app. It's free. Find it on the uh, App Store or Play Store or wherever Win8 you get them. Uh, then on your computer, whether it's a Windows, I'm going to show the Windows, but you can do it on Macs or Linux. Uh, install Node.js. It installs really, really well, really easily. Uh, the harder one to install is PhoneGap. The, the normal way with the dash G doesn't always work well at work or at school. On your own laptop, it should work fine. I've given you a couple of options. Then we're going to make some batch files to make the creation of your app folders easier. Uh, then go into GitHub and you want to load up or, or search for Game Base PGB Hello World. Um, when you find that, you can download it and put it onto your computer in whatever folder you're working on. Uh, unzip it, drag almost every, well, basically everything from that uh, zip file into the WW folder that you created inside your game folder. Um, load up, uh, go back out a little bit and drag that folder onto your serve batch file and load up your iPad phone gap developer play your game three finger tap uh, refreshes the game four finger tap reloads the game uh, then you want to change it and and that's where it gets fun and frustrating so in your game folder WW folder uh, index.html has everything every single thing is there there are no JS files there is nothing extra there are scripts and there are web pages. It's JavaScript and HTML5. Uh, edit the game, have your own background, uh, your own images, add more images, add more controls. That's programming. First things is to get the PhoneGap developer app, you're going to have to head to iTunes, have to type in uh, PhoneGap, and I've got it already in there as developer. There's the one, looks like some kind of funny robot with eyes. Um, click that. should be a reasonably fast install and open it up. Okay. Um, there's where you enter your um, wireless IP with a port 3000 and you're good to go. So first thing we need to get node installed. Google node it's called Node.js. There, go for the install. Um, let's put it into my save folder. Save it there. Um, if you go into the folder, uh, click on it, install it, computing space. Accept, next, uh, looks good, next install, yes, 
Okay, looks like it's done. Uh, just show you this batch file. It's called command slash f. It allows me to um, just go into um, DOS and if I write node v, I can check, see it's there. Uh, the next thing to check is npm for node package manager. It's there. And so the traditional way is to npm install um, dash g phone gap and run that to install phone gap. I've um, already, well, let me check if I've already got phone gap installed. And yeah, it is. So let's get out of here. Now, sometimes on a school computer or work computer or just for whatever reason, um, PhoneGap doesn't install terribly well with the dash G option. So sometimes it's better to just try to install it in a local directory. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Manager and prefix dot, which means right here in whatever directory I'm in, I want to install phone gap. Okay, make sure everything's right. npm for node package manager, double dash prefix dot, install phone gap. And okay, so you got node and phone gap installed. You need to get into your directory. And I'm just going to get into notepad here. I want to make a command editor with a slash f so you can um, tab for directories. And let's call this my run dot batch. You could put it CMD. I don't really know the difference. And also, I want to save another one that's going to be called um, create dot batch. Most people online will tell you to do this in the um, command line, but us window users like to do like to click on things. So that's going to be the name of my game. Just change this file if you want a, a different name. Uh, I also need to make a batch file called serve and I'm going to remind drag folder here dot batch. Make sure you get rid of that text thing. And this is just going to say well cd percent one to um, change the directory and then it's just going to say phone gap phone gap serve so that's pretty much all you need for this stuff now let's just go into my run um, good idea to check that node actually got installed there we go npm which is the package manager uh, there we go phone gap dash v for version. There we go. So we're all set up. Um, I'm going to come back here and a reminder about this. You can just drag stuff into there to work on it. It's very quick, very simple. I know lots of people, programmers use all kinds of other things. But so we're going to create it. Now, there. It made our game. It's all organized. Um, if you, I make this run thing, if you run into problems, hit run and let's do it a little directory and run the create from here because it'll show you what the problems are. Uh, one of the big problems is directories not being put in the right spot. Uh, the path, you can always check path. And if you look there, right there is the path to Node.js. Here's a path to NPM. Uh, sometimes you have to work on that. I have another video showing you how to do that stuff. Anyway, we've got our game here. All I need to do is drag that game to serve. There we go. Those are the... Um, I, I've got another part of a video showing you how to do this. A reminder, control C will stop it. And that's all you do. Drag that there and get your your new app going on um, your Android phone, your iPad, whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's go in and have a look at the my game. This is the file, by the way. Uh, it's not set up to be opened in Notepad, so I just switch it in Word to um, to something that you can open up in Notepad. 
Uh, that's the standard um, phone gap file. So how do you make your own video game and put it on your iPad or Android phone really quickly? Well, first of all, you go to GitHub. There's, whoa, there's GitHub. But if I click on the right thing, let's just go to my GitHub. And search PGB Hello World. Hello World. What you find is all my beginner phone gap um, applications. You might go to the second page. I'm just going to search on game base and see what we get. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Let's try game space base. There we go. Okay, so here's my repository on game base. Um, what you want is you want to download it. So we're going to download that. Uh, let's put it in the folder I was working on and save it there. Go into the folder, get to the main part of the folder. Probably should unzip it. Extract here and go in there. Okay, here's some um, things in this file. There's an index file. So we're going to go into the game we made, www, and there's the index file. So what we want to do is drag this over and replace the phone gap index file. We also want these images because they support. And you could do fancy, put them in the image folder, but this is good enough. Um, and then come back here, drag that onto the serve, and you can serve your game up. That's all there is to it. Directory, just type phone gap serve. It gives you the information. There's the IP, and Control C will stop the server. Come over to your iPad, click on there. I've got the same numbers inserted. Let me get my phone in. Okay, we connect, and Success and oh, it's taking some time. Come on, machine. There we go. Okay, so here's the game, which you saw in much better detail before. Notice the touch event works way better than the step event, slower. Fireworks. Um, that fireworks. If you touch a vent all the way over. Anyway, I can show you that another. So you've made your game. Um, we've put the uh, PGB Hello World uh, game into your game. So in the WW, by the way, the regular final APK, if you're doing the proper phone gap way of doing things ends up in the platforms folder. You can only make an Android one on a Windows phone. Um, so there's your index. There are a bunch of pictures and I've already gone in and changed it with WordPad so I can open it in Notepad. Um, but what I want to show you, what's so great about PhoneGap, is we can open this in Google Chrome. And there's my game in Google Chrome. Things like touch events, I actually have to, have to touch the screen. But you notice my my player over here. Um, zoom towards my mouse for a second there. There we go. My this is my player. This is the opposition. This is the background. You can move the background faster. These can be any images you have, and that's what's kind of fun about making your own game. Um, we can step to the right. You see, I move to the right. By the way, this little red dot is when we hit. You see, I hit the red dot. It's 
proof that it detects. And here we're going to hit the, the blue object. Great. Uh, I'm going to refresh again. And we can fire this by hitting the fire button, the little thing. And you see right down here, it says it hit it. It does it very quickly so that you can have multiple firings going on. Um, oh, it seems I missed it. Okay, so let's go have a look at some of this code. Um, and here, where did my code go? There we go. Okay, so let's open this up with Notepad. And here are some global variables, mainly to do with the background. Uh, here's a my scroll function, which allows the background to scroll. Most of this stuff you don't have to understand. Okay, the fact that it's doing something called my auto and check all is reasonably interesting. Here's the object detection. This is the one that hit a location. Once again, you don't have to understand this stuff. It basically is detecting that I hit a spot. This is the more interesting one where you hit two objects hit each other. Once again, you don't have to understand that. It basically is telling you that two objects hit. This is the function you need to understand. Here, move one, which is my main object, is hitting location 200 and 280. Here, move one is hitting move two. This is the red object, this is the blue object. Here, bullet one is hitting move two. And the issue that it had was it probably was going too fast and it bounced over it. Here we have um, just the information for debugging in the yellow box. Here we have my auto, which is probably doing the auto movement um, to the right of the object. Here the gun's being prepped, and it calls a function which um, has the gun move. It's all very long and winded, but it all works. Um, this is an on key press function, which if you were making a web site application, you would use these, but for an app you wouldn't. And moving down, uh, here are the instructions. Pretty easy to edit those to put your own instructions. Here's move one, there's the image move one, there's the image move two. You could use JPEGs or GIFs, whatever you wanted. Uh, there is the bullet image. Moving down again, here are the buttons that make the background move down. We're just changing a background. Anything with my is a variable I've created. And this one is the step right. This is the touch on touch start. That'll work way better in your app. It'll be 300 milliseconds quicker than on click. Much better for games. Here's auto down, auto right. And then there are the three divs, that the big yellow boxes that allow output. And that's it. That's the game. So you need to learn some things about how to move it up or how to move it to the left. Um, faster to the up, faster down, change your images, and that's about it.